This is Roger Struckoff with Syscon TV. We're at the day two of Cloud Expo in New York in the year 2015, and we're joined by Akeem Weiss with Profit Bricks. Akeem, thank you very much for joining us. Tell everybody a little bit about the company and why you're here at Cloud Expo. Yeah, well, um, Profit Bricks was founded in 2010, and uh, we are the painless cloud. So what I mean by that is that we've uh, worked hard to overcome a lot of obstacles you have with the traditional hosting companies like Amazon. And um, for example, one uh, feature we have is we, we don't have fixed instance sizes. So, so you can pick the amount of cores and the amount of RAM independently for each instance. Um, you pay by the minute and you can scale even uh, live these resources. So if you find out you have a, a hotspot somewhere, you can just scale the resource without having to reboot or having to change your packages. So no down, downtime involved. And um, another feature which we have is like real true software defined networking. So you can have as many network segments as you like. You can have as many tiers as you like. Because the last 20 years in the internet, we will learn how to set up an infrastructure. So you had your first tier with your, uh, with your firewalls, and you had your DMZ, and then you had your second tier, and your, whatever your most precious database was in the third tier. So with uh, a lot of the other companies around there, you have to adapt to what they uh, have as features as a network, and usually it's pretty much flat. And with us, you can basically do everything you could do with your own hardware, switches, servers, storages, you can set up with us as well. And um, the third thing we, which makes us unique is we have a, a data center designer uh, that's a graphical user interface which runs totally, um, completely in the browser. And you can you have, a, you have a, a pane where you select the resources like a storage or a server and you drag and drop them to your drawing area and you basically draw your data center, so your virtual data center. Then you connect the networks like, you know, just draw some lines and these are all network segments. And you just press the button and that's how your data center is. So you have all these, what you see there is really what you get and uh, it's very easy because if you have very complex networks if you do this in lists like all the others are doing it, you lose overview it's very hard to see what your network actually looks like and with us there's always a one-to-one -one representation of what you have in your data centers what, what size customers what sort of the minimum that that a customer would would be using from you to get it started well, we don't have a minimum. Uh, we have a lot of small customers as well, but uh, um, uh, you know, the feature set really makes sense if you have multiple servers and, and hundreds of them. So, so our 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 sweet spot is like mid-size uh, companies, small enterprises. Um, that, that's where we where we target the market. There's a book written a few years ago called The Big Switch, um, and the whole idea was that cloud was going to be this measurable utility resource like water or electricity. And in fact, when you have to buy instances, it's the granularity, is, I call it that, but it's not, it's not like that at all. I don't have to buy water in 10,000 gallon increments. I don't have to buy electricity in megawatt increments or even 100 kilowatt increments. So uh, what you've done here, you're calling it the painless cloud, it sounds like it, it's still not a completely metered flow, but you're close it's, to that. It's pretty close, it's pretty close there because um, you don't have to overspend anything and we pay. you pay by the minute and you just can scale up and down any time, any, any part of the resource. So it's kind of a utility. It's, you know, how much resources you, know, you, you take, um, you pay them, and if you don't need them anymore, a minute later, you don't have to pay them anymore. So it's kind of constant. I like that, and you're defining the cores, you're, defi you're defining exactly. the resources. So we don't tell you what the packages are, what, what, and you have to pick from 50 different things, and usually it, it, it never uh, you know, matches what your needs are really. So you just define what you need, anything from one to 62 cores, anything from a half a gig of RAM to 240 gig of RAM, and you just change it any time you need so it's pretty close to utility computing, kind of. And then if I go mad in the morning, I say I want a, I want a 200 system data center, I can just pull it down, I can yeah. just design it, and, yeah. and then when I'm done with it, yeah. I'm done. Wow. And, uh, yeah, that, that's how it works. And uh, of course, we have an API for that as well, so you don't have to do it in the data center. You can automate all that stuff. Uh, we have lots of libraries from .NET to libcloud integration to you name it. And so it, it's really, it's getting there. So that's why we also call, consider us to be the, the infrastructure as a service 2.0 company. Because we, we took all that pain away of, you know, figuring out what I need. And it's just, you know, go as you, uh, go as you.
years ago. And if you get too much, you can scale back just like yeah. uh, So uh, where are your customers located? Is this, is this something that's in the U.S. or is it uh, beyond that? Well, it's, uh, U.S. is a big business for us, of course. And we have another office in, uh, in Europe, in, in Berlin. So we have uh, a lot of uh, European customers in the U.S. That's our main target. We, we don't have so many up from Asia because we don't have data centers there yet. Um, so yes, we concentrate on, on America and, and on, on Europe. And how much of this are, are people coming to you for sort of their primary cloud? How much of it is backup or failover? Um, how much of it is sort of uh, development, you know? Um. Well, I don't really have a clear picture on that because people are doing anything with us from, from fluid dynamics calculations to backup. So yeah, yeah, because we're agnostic to whatever workload is on there. And, um, and, and many people do stuff which needs high high performance um, networking because um, we are based um, or our technology is based on InfiniBand, which are originated in the high performance computing area. So we can have much faster network connections and much lower latencies than probably anybody out there. And uh, this is also an effect for which is usable for big data analyze, uh, analyzers and stuff. So we have lots of storage, and you pull all this data, and you need really fast network and storage connections. And so the, the use cases are all over the place, really. So you, you, you must feel as if you, you really have an advantage. You sort of must have a lead over so sort of the traditional way of thinking about this. And if that's true, how do you how do you maintain that lead? Well, yeah, it's a, it's a tough competition out there. Um, but uh, we have a bunch of really, really good software architects and, and um, developers. We have like 15 kernel hackers. And so we, we do a lot of things in the kernel to optimize performance, to, to increase or add features like the live scaling, which is really complex stuff to do. So yeah, with, with that team, we can, uh, yeah, I think we can have, uh, we, on our roadmap, there's a bunch of new and interesting things which I uh, disclose later. But um, so yeah, we can maintain the advantage, I'm pretty sure. How do I sign up for an account? I might, I might want to do this when I get home. Pretty easy. Go to the web page, sign up. You don't need credit card to get a test and trial account, and then off you go. I got to do it, because that, that's the dream. I mean, that's the whole idea of what it's supposed to be like, in, in, in my opinion. And uh, it sounds great that you migrated there. How do people find you? What's your URL? It's www.profitbricks.com. Pretty easy. Been sitting here for a few minutes with Akeem Weiss with uh, Profit Bricks. Uh, this is... This is um, cloud computing flowing like electricity and water, sort of. There's still a lot going on underneath, and we all know that. And the, the irony, the ironic thing is this can be very appealing to very sophisticated users, I think. Yes. And this reminds me of what people say about Mozart. Easy for the beginner, difficult for the professional. <laughs> and, and it's sort of like that. This is a, the sort of service that, that um, if you're just getting started out, you can use. But if you're also very sophisticated and you want to go nuts and really design stuff, you can do that as well. Thank you, Akeem, for joining us. And thank you for watching. For Syscon, for Syscon TV, this is Roger Struckoff.